Good afternoon and welcome back to Winnipeg. Yeah, I did come back to the model table this afternoon and it's a beautiful afternoon. A nice cool breeze blowing through the house. I did open my windows like I said I was gonna and the plan is to see if I can figure out how is it that we are supposed to mount these little spotlights on this little piece of railing which is uh where is it we'll find it we'll put the macro lens on we'll find it i saw it a minute ago i know it's there anyway we've got to get two of these little pieces of railing and uh uh okay let's quit looking for it here right now and uh, uh recompose and uh and get it and try and figure this out probably be just a little short video i don't think this one's going to be very long um, all I want to do is just see if I can get these mounted on the railing and I don't think we'll be doing any painting or anything this evening but we will see what happens okay it is number 49 here and I have already nipped this bottom one but we've got three to go here this one and this one here now you notice there's a little little tab on the top there I'm almost I'm touching it actually I think that somehow we are supposed to attach that to the uh, to the, uh, the spotlight. Now I don't know where we're going to attach it. Maybe once we get all the parts together, we'll be able to figure it out. But let's just carefully get this one first. Here we go, and then this one. And the last one. Okay, that should break free now. I can, ooh, I bent it. I bent it just a little bit. I wonder if I can straighten that. Yeah, I think I could easily straighten that. I, I'm, I'm doing a lot of silly things lately, aren't I? Okay, let's, uh, yeah, that, uh, the center post is kind of leaning to the left there, isn't it? Well, we'll be we'll be doing some more straightening anyway, probably by the time we get the uh, spotlight glued on there somehow. Okay, let's uh, let's find it. Let's recompose here and try and figure this out. Okay, I am focused in right on that little dot that's on my green cloth here, so. Try and keep everything around that. Now you can see here, we got this little tab thing going. Am I supposed to bend that at 90 degrees? Oh, here we go again. Here we go again. I'm trying to move this and it just, these things are just so difficult to pick up with the tweezers. They want to ping out. I'm probably grabbing it wrong. Okay, there. Now, am I supposed to bend that tab at 90 degrees and then mount it, you know, glue it to the bottom of that peg? Or are we supposed to just sort of try and put it like this? Which I think is probably the easiest. And uh, even at uh, half an arm's length, you're not going to be able to tell that... But just let me look at the manual. I don't think it says anything about bending it. As the old saying goes, this is as clear as mud. Okay, I do not want this to be moving around when I'm applying the glue. Now I know it doesn't look like it, but we're actually on a piece of glass here. And you can see I'm, I've got the bottom of the rail taped, and I would like to be able to hold it down See if I could just get this in underneath. If I could just get it underneath there. I'll lift this up a little bit, maybe it'd stay. Now can I move this? I know the light is crooked. The holder downer doesn't want to slide. Maybe what I should do is move the glass. 
That's a good idea. Yeah, twist the glass. Yeah. And then they think I'm stupid. Okay. Yeah. That's, that's pretty good, I think. How does they look to you? They look uh, pretty straight? Okay, now we'll get some uh, CA thin, probably. And, uh, yeah. Just let me uh, get my thoughts together here. Okay, a couple of minutes has passed here, and I think I've got myself lined up. And we're just going to try and touch this now. Just touch it. Doesn't look like any's coming off. And maybe I'll sort of try and flood it on. Oh my goodness, you know what that is? That's my smart device. Now, I think I should really move this just a little bit here. It's telling me that I've got to... Uh... Oh, I know. Stop! Forgot it was voice activated. Yeah, I have to go uh, upload my uh, video onto uh, Jim Steen's Metal Ship Club thing. I just can't get this thing moved over here. to come back at this I guess okay about 15 minutes has passed here now and uh, I removed the masking tape off the bottom of the rail it's loose but it is attached to the spotlight but unfortunately I think that the CA glue probably glued itself to the glass maybe I think we're probably safe to remove the holder downer okay and uh, Jim, I guess you know what it is I do at uh, three minutes to five every day. Yeah. Now is this gonna is this gonna break our connection there, or is this whole thing gonna come loose now? Maybe uh, using this piece of glass was not a smart idea. Maybe I, I should have used a piece of waxed paper. Because that is really glued on there. That is really stuck on there. Oh, it's coming loose, coming loose. But is it, is it breaking off the connection? Just trying to get underneath it here. Alright, I think we got it. Let's turn it over and see what it looks like here. If we can, very gently, very gently just turn it over. Come on, how, how can something so simple be so complicated? It's a bit of a mess, isn't it? Yeah, that's a bit of a mess going on there. And I, I don't know what I can do about that unless I was to take maybe one of Gabe's swabs and or some, some acetone maybe and just sort of, but then that would probably loosen the whole thing. You know what I think I'm going to do? I think I'm probably going to, off camera, I'm just going to try and strengthen this somehow, the whole thing, to sort of build it up. And I know there'll be like a little blob there. Okay, just let me press stop here. That looks pretty good, huh? What do you mean you can't see it? <laughs> okay, we'll put the macro lens on. In the meantime, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the morning.